Hello everyone, you're watching another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we are going to discuss why some fighter jets dump their fuel tank when under attack. If you are curious, don't go anywhere and stay tuned. A fuel system is a major component of an aircraft, whether it is commercial or reconnaissance plane. The fuel system allows fuel to be loaded, stored and managed and delivered to the propulsion system of the aircraft. Sometimes, when airplanes fly long-distance flights, they might want to avoid highly priced refueling or occasional stops in search for extra fuel. Thus, bringing additional fuel might be the best solution. Military aircrafts in this case have a distinct mechanism for carrying additional fuel tanks. Fighter jet and reconnaissance aircraft are sophisticated, fast-moving dexterous with the range of capabilities for defense or attack missions. However, the astounding rate at which they burn the fuel might necessitate these planes to procure extra fuel to maintain the survival of their flight. This is where the term drop tank come into view. Drop tanks are also known as wings. External or belly tank is an auxiliary fuel tank which is attached to the outer part of the aircraft's body. A drop tank is known to be expandable and jettisonable. The usage of drop tank is common on modern military aircrafts like Super Hornet or the F-15. The question is, which part of the military aircraft is actually drop tanks? Sometimes you might see a long cigar-shaped pod strongly hooked up to each lower sides of combat jets next to the armaments. This is the external tanks or which is widely known as drop tanks and aircraft usually carry to load the additional fuel. Drop tanks quickly became the norm among the militaries around the world as it is easy to be jettisoned whenever the aircraft encounters potentially threatening situation. The primary reason behind dropping the fuel tanks is to decrease the weight drastically and also to enhance the maneuverability as it is required for the fighter jets to avoid any attack under severe combat situation. By discarding the drop tanks, the aircraft can maintain their survivability and withstand any attacks coming into their view in the event of dogfighting. On the other side, contrast with the military aircraft, commercial airplanes usually load the extra fuel by integrating it to the wings part. This condition also helps the plane to maintain the overall balance and also adds the rigidity to the wings. Commercial planes generally carry heavier loads than the maximum landing weight MLW allowed. MLW is described as the threshold at which an aircraft can handle a difficult landing process without any particular damage. During the journey of a normal flight, it is expected that the aircraft would burn the fuel, hence the weight of the plane will drastically decrease by the time of the landing, meeting the required maximum landing weight. If a plane has a mechanical problem or a passenger has a medical emergency and needs to make an emergency landing early in a trip, they won't have sufficient time to burn enough fuel to lower the weight of the aircraft. This implies that the pilot needs to get rid of surplus weight as soon as possible, and the simplest way to do so is to dump fuel. Not only reducing weight, it can also simultaneously decrease the stress on the airframe. However, the fuel dumping must be done at high altitude to ensure that the atomized fuel evaporates before touching the ground. It is also required for the plane to have as little as flammable material aboard. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you on the next episode.